folks. I also realised that I don't sing it's breakfast time anymore, so I've had breakfast. Now I'm eating watermelon. My camera's got a smudge on it. Today is show day. Um, and we are taking sausage and eagle. But first, we're going to ride some babies. Horses. Horses. Guess who's up first? And I'm a little bit sassy. I'm a little bit sassy. Mini me. Yeah. You're a mini me. <laughs> you and Bob. I'm slightly worried as to why Pat gave me that this morning. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so she's wrong. Okay. Pussy boots. Oh, you need to start getting your inside leg to outside rain on the pillow. I'll say this to the camera because then you won't take a fun. Come on, Barbie. That's your new name, Sally. Sorry to all Sally's. You should be good by the time you get to Rufus. I think you might have to be good by the time you get to Rufus. <laughs> That's the attitude. It's a pretty easy option for us all most of the time. Like taking the Titanic down there. And this is our overnight stabling, all being concreted by the very good Malcolm. Oh, and our new locks. So, I don't know where Malcolm is, and we'll find him in a minute. Probably on a builder's tea break.
Yeah, it's like nothing. Bye, guys. Yeah, it's really good. Bye, Molly. Bye. It's Joey's turn. Uh, maybe I shouldn't do this here. So I just stretched him today because he had a lesson on Tuesday and then he worked quite hard Thursday. Um, <laughs> and uh, they were really good. So I just wanted to give him a bit of an easier day because he's just adjusting to having his leg being worked a little bit harder. Um, and I'll do the same with Joey because he had a lesson on Tuesday. It was really good. Um, I had a guy called Callum Whitworth help me. He was actually the boyfriend of the guy that I, bar I, that I bought Will and Joey off. So, small world. Um, but yeah, he's really, really lovely. And I love his like ethos with horses. Um, and he doesn't like overly push the young horses but he does like challenge them and that's what I need because like he said I can be I, I make my horses very com confident and comfortable but I sometimes don't like I couldn't do certain things because I haven't like pushed them a little bit more um so yeah that's what he's helping me with at the moment and it's really good oh Joey's in the martingale too. I need to explain why I put them in the martingale. Yes, Bloody hell. No, come here. So but no, wait, I haven't explained what we're about to talk about. <laughs> For anyone who's wondering why um, Barbie and now Joey is in a martingale, come on. So they don't stick their two ears up your nostrils. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Both Joey, why is my camera key going dark? What's going on? Yeah, let's squeeze it. Oh. There you go. Both Joey and Barbie can sometimes have a little habit of sticking their heads up really high. Um, and it's much easier to keep their heads straight when you've got the martingale on and also just helps that. And I've noticed from riding in it, it helps them stop falling through the outside shoulder because you know when that little habit where you open your inside rein to turn them the way you're going because you're like ah you can't open it that far so it makes you ride more from your outside rein that's what i just found anyway um yeah molly's back you're right Everybody's revising for the pop quiz. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> How do I turn this thing on? Joey is done, he was good, but I didn't do too long on him. Um, and then what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, now I'm gonna ride Sumo, Blackie, same horse by the way, just his two nicknames. And then um, we're gonna get ready to go do the show. Why is my camera keep going dark? So all four ponies that were getting worked at home have been worked and Kat has very kindly um, platted the eagle up and she's now platting Wilf up because I wanted, I was a bit, it was a bit tight trying to fit it all in before I got ready, but actually we seem to be on the ball, which is good. Um, so yeah, she's plaiting them up. I'm gonna get ready, then we're gonna go. I've got another into two on Wilf. I'm a bit scared, scary. Honestly, like, I can't even explain. Nothing can prepare you for this level. Um, so like the jump from into one to into two is ridiculously big. Um, it's just massive. Like you can get away with a lot of things into one not being in place. Like they don't have to be as in front of your leg as you need them for the into two stuff. But um, it's mind blowing, mind blowing. But good old sausage. He's you know holding my hand through it, so that's cool. Um, also loads is happening with just generally like 
you know what I was struggling with before um, it's getting a lot better which is really cool um, and we're not out of the woods yet so to say but things are definitely changing and improving so oh look handsome handsome you dead you must have a mistake I'm down to go in the field today. Between the field. That is such a wilf pose. Leg up in the air. It's time to get changed. Time to get changed. Time to get changed. some lunch before I go so that I'm strong for riding um I was gonna say I was just gonna tell you now because it's easier um like what's been going on and how I moved forwards from being like low-key depressed to now feeling a lot happier um and all I did was literally just take the pressure off myself of feeling like I had to do everything a hundred percent but what was really important as well is I carried on doing things because I think there's like a balance and everybody's different. But for me, for example, if I'd stopped doing everything um, and just gone and been like, oh, I just need to like completely stop everything, I think I would have got more sad um, and I would have felt like I didn't have any direction and purpose. Whereas like carrying on, chipping away, doing, I was doing, um, I still am doing a lot less than I was before. But that way I can kind of like take a look at how things were before, how I was doing my life, how like the direction I was going in, where I was putting my time. Um, I can take a step back and look at it and be like, actually, it wasn't that healthy what I was doing. Um, I'd orientated my whole life around work and um, I'd got really like lonely uh, and sad but then just carried on working through it to cover it up, to be like, I'll just work more instead of actually addressing what was going on. And um, I went to London this weekend and I saw my friend and she's really, really amazing and she's very switched on. And she's actually struggled with burnout before um, because again, she was so driven to be like successful, which isn't a bad thing in itself. But it is when it's like your whole life and um, it's what kind of defines you. So she basically said um, the big change for her has been actually looking as looking at relationships as like a success. So um, it's so easy to just be like, uh, you know, that relationship is there. It's fine. I don't need to put things into it. But actually like to, to, to really feel like a good relationship is a success as well as say like winning a competition or um doing really well in like an exam or whatever looking at like you know actually i have a really good relationship with my mum or like i want to put time into say having a relationship with my husband boyfriend kids whatever um is really important and i think i'm just discovering that that life is more than a job um and that statement used to scare me so much because i thought i would be less driven if I said that, but I actually think I will do better if I live a more balanced, like wholehearted life. Um, so there's lots of things I'm looking into doing at the moment, like going on different adventures, doing different things, booking in time to go and do different things. Like for example, I went to London, like I just said on the weekend, and that was really fun to like be in the big city and do different things. I just realised how sheltered I'd become as well. I think the equestrian world, as amazing as it is, can really isolate you without you realising. Wow, that's a low plane. Um, so it's really good to just go and do different things. And it's really important for your happiness. So um, yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment. So it's good, it's exciting, but I just, I've got something in my hair. 
I think it's food. Um, but now I've just got to figure out what to go and do. So, yeah, it is exciting. Sausage in a stable because we're soft like that, we don't just like leaving them on the lorry. Um, and then oh, I'll get eagle ready. Nice. Yeah, they don't like standing on the lorry, probably because we don't make them stand on the lorry, but yeah, I'm just gonna do that and then we'll start getting ready. I can't believe it's actually sunny at Summer House. This never happens. It always rains when we're here. Yes. No, he's not like very lovable. I mean, loving, that's what I mean. He is lovable. He's not very loving. <laughs> he hates it. Oh. I'm not 
dirty extended cantonment. Good. Oh, they've got that. a little bit on and back really round here not to pass hard you'll find that because you've got the energy It's a little bit untidy, you've just got to keep hold of it.
Let me put them and collect. Good girl. You want them? <laughs> Good. Half hold, half hold back to you. Cheeky little bugger. Put on now and practice for the Grand Prix. Basically, I'm really pissed off at myself because I rode like a twat. Right, I really need to practice shame resilience. I maybe didn't ride as well as I know I could have, but it's okay. It's one test. It's only my fourth one. Be kind to yourself. Be nice to yourself. What would you say? if it was one of your pupils it's only your fourth one yes you didn't ride from your seat and your leg as much as you should have and you did ride from your hand a little bit too much but it doesn't mean like you're always going to it's a new level so it would be very hard to ride at your best it at that level he was amazing in the warm-up so you know you can do it you just panicked a little bit going in Um, the reason I'm really like me uh, is because I got it really good in the warm up. I got really good passage and PF in the warm up. Um, and he was really relaxed and really well behaved. And then um, we took his boots off and he got a little bit tight and a little bit nervous. And then mum was like, oh, just relax. And then I was like, oh my God, there's something to be wrong. Like there's something wrong. Um, which is so stupid to take one thing someone says and then literally like lose the plot but I did and then I went into the test and then I got really good passage around the outside and I was like wicked and then um, in the test I just got off my seat onto my hand and he basically wasn't like his hind legs weren't pushing out to the bit that's why he looks a bit short in the neck you'll see I feel like I'm snatching him in the mouth all the time but I was trying to half halt because oh it's so hard this level because it you can't cover it up like if they're not pushing and pulling out to the bit they can't passage and it's so hard it's oh my gosh like you can it's just ridiculous so hard so I'm really feel I really feel deflated at the moment um, and also I was so happy with Eagle we had a few like wobbly bits and he only got 66 percent god knows what will forget i did get my ones though and my medium cancers were better but oh it's just hard isn't it I've Anyway, 
we'll learn a lot from this. I'll learn how to use my bloody seat. No, be nice to yourself. Don't talk to yourself like shit. We have to practice this. I'm gonna pack up and then I'll um, get back to you guys. I've got a really bad tummy ache. because it's six o'clock um i was gonna go to the gym but i think i'm gonna go tomorrow instead what was i gonna say so on reflection um yeah i know i know it's just the reason i'm riding wilf not at my best is because it's a new level and my mind is like in overdrive trying to think about like how to do things so it's very hard to like ride to your full potential when you're at your like max say like level wise so that's okay um i just need to keep chipping away at it and everyone keeps telling me like chill out with it just take take like a year to get used to doing the level um because it just doesn't get any harder than this does it like obviously it's into two and then grand prix but it's still the same moves so um it's not gonna get any harder so i just need to like chill out um i'm really really happy with the eagle really happy with him i think he did um the best he could have done and i was really happy with how i rode him as well i really was thinking in the warm-up of um keeping his shoulders level so it's a different way of like thinking about them not falling through the shoulder um because when there is two reins their shoulders level so i was thinking about that and i was just thinking about like something callum said to me who's the guy who helped me with the young horses he was like you know when I watch you ride, the only like critical thing I can say is that you don't like look like you really could do everything with a horse. Sometimes you're a bit too like, oh okay, bit bit of a passenger instead of a pilot. So I really tried to just be a pilot today, and it went really well. So overall, good day. Lots to learn. Some little niggly things I'd like to change, but that is all part of life. Um, the last thing I want to say before my camera's flashing at me, it's going to run out of battery. The last thing I want to say is I, this is non-horse related, I want to go and do some like adventurous stuff and go and do different things, um, preferably within the country by the way, because yeah, I want to do, I've got a weekend off every month and I want to go and do something fun and exciting. Um, and I would love to hear what you guys would think would be good, um, like what your suggestions would be and um also i'm gonna vlog it because i do love vlogging like different stuff it's really fun and it's really nice to have like that memory so you guys can come on the journey with me so if you have any suggestions on what you think i should go and try can you pop them in the comments below or above i can't remember which way it is um yeah like it can be as different as you like um and it doesn't have to be horse related and also if you suggest it and you want to come and do it with me then we can do that for sure um we can vlog it be exciting um but anyway i'm gonna love you and leave you and uh yeah if you've enjoyed this vlog give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and tell friends and thank you so much for your support i love you all Mwah. You know, the vlog was meant to have finished and everything and it's a long one but I had to put this in because I was just editing it and Will's test came up and I was like I don't want to watch it anyway I watched it and I was like oh it actually looks a lot better than I thought and I'm watching it and I was like really seeing the like positives from it like yes I did do some probably more like agricultural half halts after the medium trot but that's about the worst thing that happened and yeah we canned it out of our piaf but it was more like energized the passage like wellington i just backed off a lot this one i seem to ride it a lot more so i'm actually really happy oh and i got 65 percent on wealth So I don't feel so sad anymore.
but I wanted to leave in me having a little bit of a meltdown after the test to show reality. These things happen. But it's how we move forwards, my friends. It looks like I'm picking my nose. It's how we move forwards. Anyway. Good night. Maybe you're watching this in the morning. Good morning.